Well, so we know that the president is about dissolving, is in the process of dissolving or has dissolved the Ghana Football Association. And um, that was a statement that has uh, been widely publicized, not only on the show, but also on the network as well across the media space, but uh, Benedict also done quite just finished with sports. We're here also to discuss in detail what the implications are, what we should look forward to from hence, and what could also be the effect this will have on football in the country, in the West African sub-region on the continent, because we know that it's also been screened on the BBC and subsequently is on YouTube, is available for further screening internationally. Well, what more can we say? Good morning, uh, Benedict. Uh, uh, thanks for joining you. me. Uh, and um, with uh, Echo Asthma Sports dot com is Echo Asthma. Uh, we always say veteran. What do we say veteran? He's still practicing. So was all yeah. this. Uh, yes. But he's an experienced sports journalist, football uh, related as well, but has a great interest in all the things. And the last time I was listening to him on a private radio station here in Accra, and some of the things he was saying. He's a regular on the show as well. Good morning. Thank you very much. Mm, but let me start with you. Um, did you go to watch? No, but subsequently I had the opportunity to watch it. To watch it. it. Yep. Okay. Uh, how was, was, was it what you anticipated? How did you feel after watching this? Given the body of work of Anas Arimeya Anas, you know, most celebrated Ghanaian uh, investigative. investigative journalist today. Uh, global, it's a global name now, so we have to give him kudos. Um, given the body of his work, I was not surprised because if you check what he's been doing, you know, almost almost always groundbreaking. And it's the first time he's coming to this arena. It's very refreshing. It is very refreshing. I thought that, in my estimation, I think that they they even have more insurance than what they have put out, as in backup. More Arsenal. Yes. Yeah, more ammunition to fire some of the interests, the persons of interest that may sub take further action to go to court to contest and all that. So I'm sure in the coming months and maybe even a year, we'll get even more details. Some, I'm sure there'll be teasers here and there, some more details. You know how when some people got nabbed, they start singing, you know? So I'm sure there'll be more details. I, and I heard that uh, the case has been referred to the police and all that. But I was hoping that it would be referred to the special prosecutor. We need some <laughs> swift action. You know, I, I, have, I haven't had the special prosecutor take on any task as yet. So for one year, He's still getting paid. You know, hey, come on, let's put him to work. You know, so this would be a, clear, a great chance. But I think the, the police department, the police service is overly tasked. You know, they have the Australia visa racketeering thing mm. going on. Then this uh, criminality going on with this uh, explosive uh, Anas Arimeyao premiering of the video, all the potential acts of criminality captured in the premiering and all that. You know, so I think we should just ease the burden on the police service and give the pro a special prosecutor that this particular case, first case, get, get swift action. You know, so kudos to the, the presidency, Nanado, for taking this bold step. You know, people say it, it's kind of ruthless, but you have to be ruthless with the truthless. We have a truthless administration in, of football. It has been going on for the past however many years. At, especially the last four years, it's been terrible. So if you want to change the narrative, you really have to be ruthless with the truthless. These are the truthless bunch of administrators we have had in Ghana. And without truth, without honest men, at the helm, we can never effect any positive change. So kudos to Nanado for taking this bold step. I know there are certain legalities or whatever, but it's been dissolved. Now, I think it's the next best thing, because the best thing, in my estimation, would have been to withdraw from all international competitions. It would still have the same effect, rather than saying we dissolve the FA. Because now they say, oh, they are talking about all kinds of legalities, we'll go to court here and there. But if we... Uh, pull out of all international football administration. It's a sovereign nation. We have no obligation to it, comp compete in any competition. But it's the same effect. Well, through Kukubako, mm. and even before that, uh, or after that, we had uh, snippets of information from the camp of uh, Tagai and Anas that this will be explosive. 
Yes. Is it as explosive as you thought it would be, Benedict? Wasn't surprised with the things I saw. I mean, you look at things uh, we've been talking about, especially with officiating in mm -hmm. this country. Year in, year out, we see that in our league, and we always talk and you, when you ask questions, the referees, especially, will tell you that you have evidence. And I, I don't know if you've seen the video of the Football Association president talking about how if uh, you have evidence of any referee engaged in corruption, when you report, they'll give you 20,000 Ghana cities. So, I mean, these are issues that we've always been talking about, supporters, stakeholders, almost everybody. We've always been talking about how officiating is not going well in our leagues. Clubs will prepare, players will go play very well, and the referee will just come and decide the outcome of a game, which is very bad. And that's one key thing that has also been affecting our football in this country. Mm -hmm. So in that aspect, I wasn't surprised. Also with uh, the National Sports Authority guys, I wasn't surprised at all. But some surprised me because if you are a National Sports Authority boss, it's not in your jurisdiction to help players get call-ups into the national teams. You mean football? In football. National Sports Authority. <laughs> How do you take money from somebody and say that you help the person get a call-up in the Black Stars? So you was just taking free money? That well, part did not surprise me because they have been compromised. You remember mm -hmm. the Ghana Egypt match in Cape Coast mm -hmm. where the FA managed to get a billboard, mm -hmm. yeah. Egypt Air billboard mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. without I going we had, to, yeah, we without had going through the, mm -hmm. the hierarchy of the NSA. And then I, I had issue, I had an opportunity to talk to mm -hmm. Robert um, Safumisa about that, and they were hedging on the truth. Mm -hmm. To this date, we haven't had the outcome of the so-called probe into it. Mm -hmm. To this date. And well, you, you know, you so it was already compromised. And you also look at the issues about the visa. <laughs> the, we, are we, even, yeah, we are even talking about, uh, how do you call it, what happened in Australia. We are not even done with that, you understand? And you get people taking money to help people secure visas. Some even said, what, 5,000 euros, and that if you're able to pay 4,000 euros, <laughs> <laughs> if you're able to pay 4,000 euros, you will, you will be able to, you know, you will be able to secure a visa for you. And you know all that. So I wasn't really surprised. But a bit about the president, what surprised me was uh, the agency thing he spoke about. I mean, yes, in football, in every association or <coughs> in any company, you are even encouraged to go out there and look for sponsorship. You understand, even here at Multimedia, I mean, you're encouraged if you're a presenter and you go out there and you speak to sponsors that, oh, you have this program or you want them to sponsor, nobody stops you from doing that. But the bit about you saying that you could have an agency form where an amount of money will be paid to your agency and that, that is wrong. And even the statute and regulations of the Football Federation frowns on that. And the bit about taking gifts as well. In the FIFA regulations, mm -hmm. in no uncertain terms, must a FIFA it's council, a of course, oh, yeah. must a FIFA council member accept a gift? Even if you were coerced, do you don't have to accept was a there, gift? Was there any evidence it of is, coercion? It no, is I didn't written, say. I'm saying that even if you were pressured, it, it is written clearly. Get into the equation. It is written. You should even consider it. It is written clearly. I'm not the one saying it. It is in the <laughs> FIFA code of ethics. Yes, it was in the video. Yeah, you understand. So on that basis, everything in there is wrong. So I was in. But you see, so I think to to some extent, to Christian entity is a victim of the, of uh, this environment. Yes, because pre previous on this the introduction of the submission, mm. then I wanted to ask, um, and when did we start getting here? It's been a, it's been a, quite a journey. You, you when, when, no, because remember Ben you know, mentioned Mitzi. I mean, it, it's yeah, because happening. because we always talk about. You know, this is not fair. This is, um, and as a result of that, it's resulted in the collapse of um, grassroots and talents, um, mm -hmm. upbringing, and, and all that. When did we start degenerating? We had an opportunity after the 2014 World Cup, mm. and President Mahama messed up big time. He's part of the big problem. He's part of the problem because after setting up the commission, and then there were, we got to the white paper directives and all that. And after six months, if they contested, it became law. Now, his appointees in the sports ministry, rather than being the enforcers in chief, became the violators in chief. And he allowed that to happen. And one of the things that we're not supposed to be doing was carry cash. Mm. 
And yet, the Dr. Mustafa Ahmed, who succeeded uh, Muhammad, he carried cash to carried Congo. Cash to Congo. And he allowed it to happen, violating the very law that he was supposed to enforce under President Mahama. There were certain things that I remember questioning. Okay, so after we said free anchor, we had Dr. Mustafa. Yeah, no, 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 not after him. It was uh, after uh, uh, this was Mahama Ayariga. Ayariga. Ah. And then we had Mustafa Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah, Mustafa. And yes. Mustafa Ahmed carried cash to the African Cup of Nations. No, no not the African Cup. All Africa games. It was the All Africa okay. games. You know, the thing was, you know, the Black Stars played a friendly in Congo. Yeah, they, they, during they, the same time. They invited us. Yeah. So you are saying their stadium. Their okay. stadium. Okay. okay, so let's get this right. So we're saying that. Even with the structures of normal political sports administration, we were violating regulations. The enforcer in chief w became the violator in chief under Muhammad, and right under his watch. What did he do about it? That was the opportunity to get because. And so right now, we still have outstanding issues about the white paper directives. Mm -hmm. Remember the president getting asked about the white paper directives. We have to revisit it because there are certain measures in in the white paper directives that would have forestalled this situation. But perhaps it's good that he, that for the sake of Ghana, that it continued to the point that he he veered off. I'm talking about Christian the number one villain in the game. Mm -hmm. Veered off his field and went into politics to the point that he 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 really tried to denigrate the name, just not that the president, even the name of Nanado, even the family name. Because if you hear some of the things he mentioned about uh, President Nanado's family members, it's very disrespectful, you know. So. It, it's, it's very good that it's got to this point. It's given us an opportunity to hit the reset button and start all over again. Mm. But th there are many categories of people who went to watch it. Um, of course, frontline journalists went, members of the public. We had doctors. We have uh, you know, lawyers, etc. But one regular who is um, uh, 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 one of the senior lawyers we have in our country, who is always a great contributor to a channel on many programs and issues, is. Uh, Lawyer Victor Kujoga Dawudu. Uh, he gave us his views after viewing that two-hour video. I see you are just returning from uh, viewing this video. Your immediate impression? Uh, embarrassing, uh, disgusting. But for me, I think uh, it's a watershed in our uh, history. And it's something that we need to look at to overhaul the whole system. It even goes further to show that within our moral fabric as a society, we need to start to see the moral conscience of society. Um, because it's people do it casually, you know, taking money here and there. It's just like it's the norm. Um, we've lost that conscience, it's dead. Uh, for me, uh, it's very, it's deep. We need to reflect upon it and chat a way that our children, because I, I, I'm losing some faith in we, but our children should not suffer the same fate. I think this is something that yes, we um, should really. Finally, before I let you go, there's been a communique from the seat of government to the effect that the football association should be dissolved, and then some of the executive members of the association who may have been cited in this video be interdicted. Welcome news, way to go. Well, that I, I think that the, the government should hasten slowly because we should not also, in as much as we have seen this, uh, we need to do things properly in the sense that you, know, you don't have to interfere with the FA. They have their own set of rules. Let's see how it is and we'll be able to go. Yes, GFA belongs to government, but they also have some autonomy so that we do not have a brush with FIFA. Yes, I don't think FIFA would say that all this that is going on, but it is also said that we have seen it. But until somebody is proven, taken to court, he's innocent. We have seen the films. Okay. Once we have seen the film, uh, we've seen them taking money. What will be the circumstances? We should not give a dog a bad name and hang it. Okay. At least they will have some chance if they will have to answer. Natural justice demand that we should be given opportunity but I think that we need to sanitize it. Okay. Um, the whole system, I will agree that even if we can suspend the football, the whole Premier League, and look at it, it has a lot of things so that we can look at it and say, never again, okay. never again in our football. 
And subsequent to this, we've had the, the, the minister come to make um, some... Well, come to make some comments, but we've had a formal statement signed by the information minister. Um, nothing about dissolution. What is the best practice? What, what do we have the regulations of FIFA and the governing regulations of CAF saying as to how association football um, and how we want to streamline in respective countries should go? They want to discourage as much as possible interference from the government. Uh, but in the face of what, uh, right in the wake of what we have seen, potential acts of criminality, the government has a responsibility to the people of Ghana to intervene. This is not interference, it's an intervention, you know. So, um, like I said, I read the statement that the, the government would uh, duly inform CAF, the FIFA and all that, they would take whatever step they would take. Worst case scenario is a ban, two years we fix it. It's not the end of the world. The sky is not falling down. Actually, this is very refreshing. Because as it is right now, even the constitution of the FA has to change. That if you don't have a club right now, you can't be part of the FA. That's giving rise to the, the, the rampant corruption. That, so that's the that current, current regulation. Yes, that has to change. But in other jurisdiction, I was doing some reading. Let's say in England, etc., they are proper administrators, not necessarily related to any football club at all. You, may, you could be a former football player yeah. or may have administered mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. but that's not a criteria for you to be there. That's what you're talking about. Exactly. But this is the, the, right now it's a criteria. And, and over the course of time, they have, it wasn't like that when Christina Titi started. Over the course of time, just to you know, hold further on into the reins of power, they, they've come up with this. That's one of the causes of the Because most of the, the folks that get in onto all kinds of committees have direct links to some of these play, uh, teams. Their cases come before the teams. Instead of excusing themselves, they rule in favor of these clubs. And you've you had all kinds of incidents of disciplinary committees, even to the point going to the international arbitration for court of arbitration for yeah, sports. So there's there's no justice even in in their their judicial services, and they don't even care about the welfare of the players. You know, I, I know we have the Professional Football Association of Ghana. They not they really don't have much impact. So we'll have opportunity to now rope in all of this interest and put the interest of the player front and center. That's the most important thing. Because we go to the stadium to watch the players. And how much they even get paid? They don't care. And because of their vested interest, they all agree that they pay the players' pretenses. It affects the performances. The times when Ghana used to rule Africa, if you check the, the composition of the national teams, majority of the players came from the local league. They've killed it. No, no wonder Ghana is not doing well, even on the continent. At the, at the World Cup level, it's because the state has been investing a lot of money. What, what, what are the dividends? Of course, we've had dividends over the past years, but since 2014, it's just they run the, the game into the underground with the tacit approval of the government. That's why it's, it's very important to recognize that this is a great step by this government. Hmm. Well, and my understanding the of the impact, statement, the FIFA. Yeah, yeah with my understanding of the statement is that government is seeking to speak to CAF and also FIFA so that we will not incur the wrath of FIFA because you know. Okay, so we haven't gotten there. No, we haven't gotten there. But what is? But the then end? that's the worst case scenario. Anyway. Yeah, that's the worst case scenario. But you know, government probably has looked at what others have done in terms of some club administrators who are running the football genuinely that have spent their money on clubs playing in the Premier League. So what it means is that now we have to go in such a way that we will not offend either CAF or FIFA. So we are taking steps to dissolve the Football Association. It's been dissolved. If you check, no, but if you not check, taking steps. No, they are taking steps. Sports, that, did you hear no, the sports minister? Okay, this okay, is radical. So we'll come down. The sports we'll, we'll minister. No, not we'll come there. The sports minister said you have a radical mind. We'll come there. But you have to have that mindset. We'll come there. We'll come there. I'll come to you. The sports minister has said. No, I'll come to a similar statement yesterday. You have come to a similar statement yesterday. But I'm just uh, analyzing the statement mm. and everything mm. that is in. Mm. So if you look at the statement, the last part of the statement says they will uh, go to CAF and FIFA mm -hmm. and see how best we can do this. So now what government wants to do is that they just don't want to come because they don't have the power to dissolve the football association. Legally, government do not have the power 
to dissolve the football association. It's been no, no. Per the sports minister. <laughs> That's per the sports minister. But yes, let's but go who according are, to the Who is an authority on sports? But the sports minister. The minister. Sports minister. Before we came here, I was on the internet. You saw mm. me on the internet. Yeah, I saw you on the internet. And I was reading um, one of the FIFA regulations. Mm. It, it indicates there should not be direct interference. Direct of interference. Yeah. Of so, state. yeah. So the, the statement was signed by the Ministry of Information. Mm. And the Ministry of Information, if it had been signed by Isiyama, then you know if anything goes wrong, government can overturn that decision. But this is coming from the information ministry, which obviously speaks is coming for, from, it speaks for the president. So it's coming from the president. So I would want to go to with a statement, not what Isiyama has been not, saying. Not his oh, no, 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 he's the authority. No, Isiyama is not the authority in this case. He's not the authority because Isiyama mm -hmm. is acting on behalf of government. Yes. And government Where do you think he, he drew his power from to say that? The FA has been dissolved. Where no, would he get that? I, I'm power? saying that I'm going He's according to the by statement. The, the so, so and he cannot make that no, statement without. I'm, I'm not disputing. That. I think there was I'm a not, problem with the the the, the, the wording from, of that no, committee because he says they are taking steps and he uh, they added right. in the statement. No, well, I'm coming. They added in the statement that now they will liaise with FIFA and CAF. Okay, so this is what I think is going to happen. Now you go to FIFA and CAF and you let them know that oh, this is the situation in our country. This is the government. This is the situation in our country that certain officials of the Football Association or even the president of the Football Association is caught in this social and so act. So this is what we want to do. What is the roadmap that advice. FIFA advise the FIFA? So I think that that's the step government wants to take. But in CMS case, where he came and said, oh, the football, because you know why I'm disputing that? In CMS, when he was asked mm -hmm. that, okay, if you are saying that the activities of the Football Association or the Football Association entirely has been dissolved. Mm -hmm. What happens to the Black Stars and Iceland game? You know what he said? Mm -hmm. He said that the FA has been dissolved and every activity of the FA is not working. But the game happened. Yeah, there were some consultations before the game okay. happened. The game happened and after because there was according some, to some hesitation about it. About it. No, yeah. according to my checks. Can you, yes. can you wrap up? According to my checks, the game happened because we are under contract. We've already signed a contract mm -hmm. with we cannot uh, Iceland. We renege on the and contract. With how many we've been hours? paid, right? Yeah, we've, we've already been paid $150,000. And with how so many they hours claim. today? So they <laughs> well, the, the, the ministry published it. That's exactly it. Yeah, so yeah. with, with, with uh, an hour to the game, there's no way you can do that. But the issue about uh, our participation in international competitions, be it uh, CAF or FIFA competitions, yes, if governments now, if it takes effect that we're not going to uh, be, then it means that all these issues when uh, our participation in uh, all international competitions will be off. Mr. Asma, yeah. um, I am for dissolution, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the thing is that I know when we, we dissolve the association, it comes with implications. Mm -hmm. I also don't want a ban mm -hmm. two years or a year or six months. Mm -hmm. But can we, can we use the term dissolution in a very soft manner? in which perhaps we have football ongoing for national team collapse mm. or things like that. But then we have restructuring... Well, who's going to manage football? No, Torbo, Torbo. We have restructuring <laughs> of our league, restructuring of the coal system, mm. and then how the composition of the FA, etc., is so that we know we bring the right people uh, in consonance with what happens as for best practices in England, etc. Et um, if we can do that, how should it be done? Okay. It cannot be done that way because <laughs> the managers <laughs> are compromised. So all of them. You want a total no, wipeout. No, how many of the ESCO, you know, the ESCO takes decisions. Hmm. How many of the ESCO members have now been compromised? Okay. So, right so, so the ESCO. So who's going to manage football? So ESCO will be off. Even the head of the football What do you propose? Himself. So next, I think the best case scenario would have been the withdrawal from all international football competitions. <laughs> we wouldn't have had to deal with FIFA or whatever, whatever legalities and all that. No. Best case scenario. So we just Ghana. write to FIFA, we're withdrawing. Yeah. No, then we're not playing any international football. Then after that, As we a go. sovereign nation, we can decide not to play football. Nothing will happen to us. Well, I'm also looking but at... That but would have been the best case but scenario. But it's an industry. People live on the industry. Exactly. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm looking okay. at people that are... So, money. assuming there were curfew, mm. From six to six. That's worst case scenario. Yes. Don't people have to live? Don't people have to go do business? Would they be doing business at that time? The situation de determines the action. It's the situation that has determined this action. So you live with it. There are casualties. That's not the best case scenario. But there are casualties and we cannot allow <laughs> the, the potential acts of criminality captured in the video and others to continue as though we, we are now responsive to the 
interest and demands of the people. The people are demanding action. And you the you are the people. You are the sports We the people. No, we the people, the <laughs> citizens of this country, we deserve better. And the okay. government is responding to the interests of the people. Well, we'll be opening the phone lines very soon. But but um, let's go to MFA Jiradosi, who is at the Kutubabi Park. Uh, is it the Swag Park? That should be it. Okay, to speak to uh, some young um, footballers who are also developing in the game. They just want to gauge the perspectives as it is. I remember I used to go to the Swag Park when I came um, down to Accra. In Dafa Park used to be there. I don't know whether it's still there now. Back in Ashima, when I used to live, I used to go to the Mandela Park and all those ones. I used to bring young people. All those parks have now been con converted to market residential slots, etc. But that's why Kwasma and uh, <laughs> the rest of the people like Benedict all are complaining about grassroots football and how football has deteriorated. And uh, if MFI is ready, uh, we'll want to get the latest update from MFI Jadosi. After that, we'll be opening the phone lines. And when we open the phone lines, you can also on the side, if you're not getting through, get interactive on Facebook, join us on TV. You can also keep uh, bringing to us more of your messages on, uh, on, on, on Twitter through our handle at join us on TV. But now we have MFA with the latest update. Good morning to you, MFA. Good morning, Roland. Mm. And uh, the people you have around you, uh, are they school children or they are, they are they're footballers? So these are footballers. I'm currently <laughs> at the uh, Kotobabi Park, uh, and I'm standing here with some of the footballers around. Mm. I'm, I'm a fight. You're, you're, you're young, so you don't know. It's called the Kotobabi Swag Park. <laughs> so you don't know. That's the name. <laughs> okay, Roland. <laughs> Kotobabi Swag Park. Okay. <laughs> All right. So go ahead, MFA. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Roland, I'm sure that you and other Ghanaians who have probably watched the video, even had excerpts of this video, have expressed, you know, some dissatisfaction and some emotions about all the corruption that we saw in this video. But today we are at the Kotobabi Swag Park to speak to some um, of these young footballers after the dissolution of the GFA yesterday by government. So let me just find out from these people that per what they've heard of what they've seen in the video, they think that the dissolution of the GFA um, is the surest way to deal with all of this. Thank you very much for your time. First of all, do you think that the dissolution of the GFA is in accordance to um, what the video that you watched or heard about yesterday? Yeah, I could not watch the video, but I heard a lot about it. But what the dissolution of the, this thing, I think is the right thing. Because when they do this, we are going to start from scratch. That time, we uh, all, all Ghanaians will put effort and watch it very well so that this thing will not happen again. To me, I think that is the best thing. But you know that the resolution of the GFA means that everything, all the activities, the suspension of the Ghana Premier League, everything about football is down. Yeah, I know, and I'm very happy. I'm very happy to hear something about something like that, because even with this thing, we are, we, we are not going anywhere. We don't see anything. So I think this is the right thing. So that we start from, we start afresh, and uh, that this punishment is very, is very good. We deserve it. So, to me. I think it's the right thing. Okay, so the first person says um, it is the right thing to do. I'm seeing um, another person, but with the chat, the Ghana Football Association. I don't know what his take um, is on with this particular one. But do you also think that um, dissolving the GFA is the surest way to deal with issues of this nature? Oh, well, actually, I'm speechless because I'm also a footballer. What is going on? I don't want to say anything, but um, we just have to give thanks to, to God. What, what has happened because um, we don't need to blame the president we don't need to blame anybody we just need to resolve everything and then we start everything because besides I'm a footballer I can't talk something and then get I, I am against the GFA because I don't know what is going to happen when you say you don't know what's going to happen are you scared that when you say something bad about them it's going to have some effect on your career no not that because I've traveled and then um, I've played football in South Africa before, so I know how it's going to work. But if we say we should start everything afresh, we don't have problem with that. So we all have to start everything afresh. But besides, I'm speechless. I don't, I don't want to talk far. I, I don't want to go far. Besides, I'm wearing the Ghana football. This thing. We, we just finished training, so I don't want to talk anything against my career and my football. 
So that's what I have to end with. I have one more person um, here who is worried and has no shirt. Yeah. You, you, you don't want to talk, you just want to give support to him. Yeah. But let me just find out from you also. Um, do you think that dissolving this GFA, I see that you know a lot of footballers, brilliant footballers are on this park who are training hard to get to um, the highest level. Do you think that dissolving the GFA and bringing it down is going to have some impact on even this, those um, playing on this pitch this early morning? Yes, this thing will give, will rather give them the opportunity. Most of them know how to play the ball, but they don't have the money so that they will push them this kind of bribery thing. So what happened is going to give them the opportunity and we are going to have more quality players and better players than before. So to me, I'm very, very happy and I support what is happening right now. But do you think that we would even experience something like this in the next future? Because yeah. I mean... When the GFA started, I'm sure they also started with you know, vibrant people who were not interested in corruption. But along the line, maybe things went wrong. Don't you think that there is, there's a day that would come that would probably experience something of this nature, even as you say that we'll come back to bringing all these vibrant people on board on the GFA? I, I don't get to come again, you say? So I'm asking, you are saying that these people would start the GFA again when government, after government has dissolved. I'm saying that, don't you think it's possible that even these people, when they come on board, issues of corruption can still pop up in the future? Looks like you have so much confidence in them. No, I'm not, I, I don't have confidence in them. They are human beings. But even if it's going to happen, it's not going to be like what, what is happening right now. You see, it will be something, you know, it will happen, but not much as this, because this thing has even. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. Doing, I don't know. I'm, I'm even ashamed of myself. So, I think it's the right thing. All right. So, um, Roland, um, you realize that most of them do not even want to talk because they initially they expressed their dissatisfaction and how hurt they were after they had accept um, of this uh, NAS number 12 video or expose. Now, most of them are excited um, that the GFA has been dissolved. They think that it's a new um, dawn and it's supposed to bring out new beginnings for Ghana football in this country. Well, thank you, MFA Jiradosi. And um, well, we hope that we can go there subsequently uh, in, in the other uh, hours of the day and also get to have the latest as to how they're moving on. But uh, today's Friday, definitely there will be football matches. Many of the players who play international are also uh, around, so they play the various uh, parks. Uh, if you go to East Legon, I think there's a park around there, and you get to find them on Saturday early morning matches. But the phone lines are open, 0302211691 or 2. Again, 0302211691 or 2. It will be on your screen shortly. And uh, you'll get to know uh, what the number is. But we have Jojo. Uh, Jojo, Jerry already is calling us from home, the Volta Regional Capital. Good morning to you. Jojo. Good morning to you, yeah, Jojo. Yeah, please. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. I'm great. You, you want to make comments? Uh, yes, on, please. On yeah, the video, from right? Ghana's expose number 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jerry, please go ahead. Yeah, what, what I want to know is, before, even before the video, mm. I had a Samoa John trying to defend the GFA that is not sure any of this will happen. So I want to find out from him if now he's okay. Because I was even surprised yesterday, he, a captain of the Black Star, coming out telling Ghanaian, as if we don't know that Black Star plays football match. So we should rally around the team. Wait, I think it, it is not good on his side. Because even the 2014 World Cup, a lot happened. Which, which that one, we sweep it under the carpet. I hope and pray that we will not do this also. Because Ghanaians, we talk and then we let her let go. Which I think with this, if drastic measure can be taken, I think it will go a long way to help us. As for the banning, uh, if, if, if we don't, uh, it, it can go. It is better than maybe allowing that go because of the banning, because of the women, Africa Cup of Basic Women. Now, now, that, now that they are, uh, whatever have been exposed, there's no way we will host and win. Because we all know that the World Foot Tournament, they pay the referees for us to uh, uh, won that cup. So who knows, maybe the Africa Women's Cup too. That is what they, they were going to do, pay the referees, and at the end of the day, pay the players to bonuses. So I think it is high time that they go. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Even the citizens know about the football administration, the many. Uh, we also have uh, Hassan Yakubu uh, calling us from Zabela. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, Hassan, Bella. please, your contribution quickly. 
Uh, for girl, I, know, I feel very, very sad this morning. Uh, in fact, uh, what, what this goes to say is that uh, we would have taken or would have added about two trophies to probably our African Cup. Mm. Uh, it means we have not been using the right place all along. And if you see how, Roland, we are suffering down here. We are playing Division 2. And you see how a referee can even come to your home and come and rob you. Hmm. You don't have any sponsorship. You will suffer, go around, beg for money, prepare yourself, train hard to come and play a match. And at the end, uh, there is no headway for you, not because you want a new labor, because... Uh, one referee or the other took money or whatever and saved another team and left you. And Roland, we've played this course team for a very long time. And because of some of these things, when you go for even justify, you only play and they'll say, oh, we've taken your name and you hear from us. And that's the end of it. Yeah. So I feel very sad. I only hope that uh, this video will go a long way to sanitize the system so that uh, our young brothers and sisters that are coming up can have a brighter future in this uh, game of soccer. In fact, we really love the game, but uh, due to some of these things, we are not able to make any headway. Well, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Hassan yeah. Yakubu, calling us from Zebula. And we have Rashid Jensong. Uh, Rashid Jensong is calling us from the Upper West Regional Capital. Wow. Good morning to you, Rashid. Yeah, good morning, Roland. I'm mm. thanks for that a beautiful job you guys are doing over there. But looking at number 12, why should we dissolve that uh, GFE? Why, 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 not, why not dissolve it? Yeah, because we are looking for this, our, uh, those who are, into, who are into this corruption or those who are making the thing not be moving, mm -hmm. and then we've gotten them. So we shouldn't play the ostrich. Let's deal with those that we've gotten. At the end of the day, if we go ahead to say we are dissolving it and we'll be having good materials in it, at mm -hmm. the end of the day, we'll be doing more harm than good to those who, are, who prove innocent. Well, so let's go ahead to make sure we prosecute or deal with those that we've gotten, those that the state has gotten. I deal with them. I need the a, a distance, a GAT. Remember, it's not any, uh, it's not in the hands of government. It's an independent body that cannot, we cannot just take Rashid. from the Minister of Sports. Rashid, yes. are you into football? I'm into football. I'm a key fit player. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, w w let's go to Cape Coast. Uh, we have Justice Dadsi. Good morning to you, Justice. Good morning. Mm, your contribution on the subject. It's become topical yeah. across the country. I think yeah, elsewhere on the continent. The video the that Anata really showed out is a primary facial evidence that I think the court <laughs> should uh, really depend on and really deserve this um, GSP. Um, I'm also a footballer in Cape Coast, which I also play football. But looking at the, uh, the environment we are living in, we realize that there is a lot of bright option in the, um, in the environment. Especially, I remember 2006 when I played a match at Azakis in Takradi, where we had a chance to go to Germany to play a cup. But I was selected, and after the end of the day, they all paid 20,000, 20,000, looking at the old current. 20 million. I could and I couldn't go. But these are the things that really depreciate the young youth or the good footballers in Ghana. And at the end of the day, you take money from outside and you put people inside. Hmm. You see, so all these things are things that is really affecting us. Well, thank you very much, Justice, sharing so his experience there. And um, experience from the lower ebb of the game, that is as a player and sometimes the machinations that tend to uh, go on from there. But that's a reality, I call. That's a reality. So it means that um, it's a total haul, overhaul that we need. Yes, exactly. From top to down. You know, leadership, down to top. You know, leadership decides everything. Leadership. If you got the right leader, things will go right. All things being equal. But if you have a villain as the head of football, how, how do you expect football to go? So, do we want the omelette or not? People are thinking about, oh, well, because of that, well, the, the effect. But we need an omelette. And you say, oh, why are we breaking the eggs? Well, how are you going to get the omelette? You have to break the eggs in order to make the omelet. So in the process, the eggs have to be broken. Omelet? What? I didn't know. What is omelet? <laughs> you know, you break 
X. Ah, okay. And then okay. You, it's because like, okay, let me bring it to Ghana Times. Chibo. 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 You need you need you need to add the X. You have to break uh, the X. So if you're gonna mm -hmm. complain about breaking the egg, oh the egg looks nice, oh hey, it's beautiful. But you still have to break it in order to make the omelette. <laughs> which is even better than just the egg on its own. You, <laughs> so that's, that's what we have to <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. See, they developed well. Mm. Don't give a damn about any personality. Yeah. That's the distinction between them and us. We we want oh uh, Roland is my friend. Oh, Roland is uh, I remember while I was a DIJ, I was yeah. doing uh, I was I was doing a project. And it was then at the time Edu Wahin and and Jerry John Rollins. Mm. So who would you vote for? Oh, we vote for Jerry John Rollins. Why? Oh, he's young, he's handsome. <laughs> uh, you see, look at them, uh, they're thinking. And so if something happens, oh, I know Roland. Oh, Roland's my boy. I mean, please consider. I mean, you know, we have so many people adding to the wrongdoing without particularly thinking about the penal measures and the effect on society. These people are a menace to society. And we have to get rid of them. You know, Actually, they all have to be s sent through the legal route. I suggest the sp special prosecutor's office. But he's, he's getting paid, not doing any work. He's about time Let's he get starts, him busy. Let's get him busy. And, and you see, there's too much pressure on the police service, the, uh, especially the criminal investigation department. They're dealing with the visa racketeering. So they're you're saying specialized cases like this. Let's just give it to a special exactly. prosecutor. Exactly. Let's get him busy. Let's get him busy because it's the taxpayer's money he's getting paid and, mm. and he shouldn't get paid for not doing any work. I'm sure he's doing some preliminary work, but fortunately, I'm, I think he's ready. And th this really requires swift action <laughs> without necessarily trampling on anybody's rights. But we need to send the message. And you see, this will send, I think the more important lesson is that it will help the youth know that, hey, you can't get away with stuff. Because Ghana, we all know, is Kululu country. But they have to get the message now, oh, well, we're going to change from Kululu country to join the society of the first world, where the law is king. Whoever you are, you are not the king. The law is king. And whoever you are, you are subject to the dictates of the law. Okay. Overhaul or not, not overhaul? Well, uh, I suggest that uh, for the government, already the step they've taken uh, to go through this procedure of making things, because other people will be affected people are living uh, because of football people are getting what they have to get because of football there are players also that have trained for tournaments i mean look at these black maidens black princesses girls yeah. if something should happen in terms of government saying that okay forget about fifa and let's just withdraw you say if something should happen no we, we are not competing internationally well mr Asma, i'm saying <laughs> you, just, you, you want to go the sentimental no, side no, I'm, but I'm saying that reality you mean the typical Ghanaian. yeah, yeah. Let, let's just it doesn't help. no 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 it's that's not what i'm saying oh, that's the, not what i'm saying yolk, the yolk those, looks beautiful no those okay, again we're, like back to, Asma, no. we're, we're back to those, see, those those that are caught in the video are people now we all know cannot help and that these people to be pushed aside we are going to clean the system. And these are the, and these I think are the people managing the national team. No, that's what I'm saying. That he, all these people will be pushed aside. I think he's clean the system. I think his point but is that uh, Mr. Asmo wants a total those, about yes, where those everybody. Captured, those captured yes. are not only the few bad nuts. Of course, they are among all the so bad I'm, nuts. I'm not saying that everybody. That's that's these are the people no. managing the national team. I'm not saying that everybody should stay. What I'm saying is, is that, that we should go radical. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Mr. Asmus' view. But, what but it's <laughs> not your view. <laughs> no, that, see, I don't share. See, I don't share the this same. This is view. one of the problems. I don't share the same. If view. the youth don't we believe can go, that, no, Mr. Asma, the radical can, route is the we, way to we can, go. Mr. Asma, the society will not change. Mr. Asma, there are so many ways of getting things done. I know. Yeah, and I suggested, so I suggested. I suggested. Yes, you that have suggested this way. Even, yeah, which but, was but I'm saying that a less radical way. Yeah, but I support the government. I'm saying that other people, genuine people, have spent money. Uh -huh. Genuine people. Genuine people. Yeah, did genuine they speak up when Christian Antity was messing up Ghana so well, they, they, did they speak up? So they show us well, Did they speak up? Uh, others, others have. They done also played. Their, they played their part in getting. Others us have where done good right investment. Now. That's my typical example. Is Dr. Papa Kusindo. He's helping people. Uh -huh. He's paying. He has employed people at the Omina Sharks. Yes. Now we say that we should disband football in the country. Uh -huh. Dr. Papa Kusindo, those that he has employed, yes. that is paying. Mm -hmm. These people are not going to get work to do. Mm -hmm. These people are not going to get money. Okay. How are they going to feed their family? So mm -hmm. let's think about some of these people. Mm -hmm. So my point is that I'm not saying yet. We need change. Mm -hmm. We need to go the way where That's things That's why I, I, I suggest but to go that the radical we draw from the international competition. We, we could still have 
domestic football. But Mr. That Mr. would have been the, of course. Do, the do you less know, severe do, round. Do you, know, do you know we cannot withdraw from international competitions and still get things done right? No. It was a way of just bypassing the having to deal with FIFA, ban and all that. Me, I suggest that the government must sit down with FIFA. Let them know what's and happening and here. find and find let, some, let them know what's and happening find some here. roadmap. So, yeah, because so definitely people will right. you know about, okay, so okay, this discussion will continue. You know some of the things some of the things in the field deal would definitely get FIFA to act. Oh, that's you okay. have already heard that they, they, they you understand that they announced. So it's proper and right. It's I've proper approach FIFA already. And I'm saying that it's proper. Now what's the FIFA? Yeah, yeah it's proper and right. And FIFA definitely. My Benedict also. It's becoming a thing. It's okay. Um, which of the individuals did you know in the video? All of them. I know Patrick Patrick Alguazo. Careful. Oh, why careful? And, <laughs> and um, <laughs> uh, we have Benedict also. <laughs> Benedict also enjoys sports. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Echo, <laughs> Echo <laughs> Asthma. <laughs> he, he has a uh, beautiful blog. Please make sure that you go uh, regularly visit Echo Asthma Sports.com and get the latest as far as sports is concerned. Thanks for joining me. Echo Asthma. It's a great honor and privilege.